Hey guys, my name is Octo, and welcome to episode 13 of Crunker Map Making Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we're going to be going over how to make nice, beveled edges for use in parts of your assets and maps. Anyways, let's give this a quick test to see how it looks in-game. Now, as you can see here, we've got a nice little tractor asset that I've made, but on the edges of it and parts, we've got nice beveled edges, which is pretty much where the edge is rounded. It looks very nice, meshes nicely, and just, you know, doesn't look glitched at all. Anyways, let's see how we can do this. So pretty much the way this works is that where two objects intersect, like here, there is a perfect little area where the radius is the same in this corner, and this means that we can slot in a cylinder that in this case is rotated, so it perfectly fits and just makes that nice curved edge. Anyways, let's see how we can do this from scratch. The first thing you're going to want to do is create an object, so go to the top left, go Object, Basic, Cube. You're going to want to have two of these in this situation, and we're just going to make them the default texture because that is the texture where it is easiest to make this work without glitching. Let's just make it this color and remember to make sure shading is off. So now that we've got shading off, we're going to duplicate this using Shift R, move it across, and then make it so that it is just this sort of size. And then the radius of each of these edges is exactly the same. So in this area, it should be perfectly symmetrical. And then if we make an object here, you can see that on the side here, it is two by two, which means that we've done our job correctly. Now we're going to want to use a cylinder. So go to Object, Basic, and then down to Cylinder. Bring your cylinder over to where you want it to be, and now go to this and copy and paste the color value. In this case, we've only changed the color and not the emissive, so just copy and paste this. And then change the texture to be the same as what we're using on our cubes. As we can see, it's this, and turn shading off. You also want to turn Collidable off because that causes some bugs. Now you're going to want to resize this so that it would match this, and also you're going to want to rotate it so that it matches it. So just rotate it in the general area and then do your finer touch-ups in the right side here. So we've got it perfectly first try, so negative 90. And then you're going to want to click the little key under your escape key, and that means that you're using world uh, transform rather than local. And we can see that up here where it says world. And now bring it over to where you want it, and then use 3 to resize it so that it fits perfectly. Anyway, now I've got this nice beveled edge, let's give it a test. So if we go over here, we can now see that this cube sort of thing has a very nice beveled edge, and this is really useful. I use this in many assets, obviously this is weird because I was doing some testing. I use this in lots of assets to make a much nicer looking uh, uh, piece, which is sort of more, you know, not realistic, but more detailed, and uh, it's an extremely useful tool. And uh, on screen I'll flash across a few examples of uh, uh, assets where I've used this. Anyways guys, that does it for the episode, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, very soon, I will be getting a code, code Octo. So once that is out, I will edit the description of this video, uh, letting you guys know that it is working and that you can use that when you buy a KR from the KR store. Anyways, thank you once again for watching the video. Uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.